Hello everyone, I'm Vikramaditya. Welcome to Chairs of Tech. And in this session, uh, I'm going to discuss with you all the future of SAP jobs after April 2020. Uh, what would be the strategy of SAP and what would be the future of uh, SAP jobs? And uh, the other most important question is, uh, do I uh, get any chances if I, if I go for SAP training? Should I learn an SAP training course or not? So these are the regular questions that I keep getting. So I'm, uh, I'm answering all these questions in this particular uh, session. So the common questions that I get is what is the future of SAP consultants? Should I learn SAP course or some other course, non SAP courses, for example, like you have Python or blockchain or uh, big data, or data science, uh, data analyst courses or any other course, uh, should I learn it or should I learn any course specific to SAP? And will I get a job if I learn a SAP course in a SAP course? So this is a question uh, most of most of the guys ask me. So let me answer these questions with a proper approach. So let's see some numbers and facts about SAP. Uh, before answering this question bluntly i'd like to discuss with you or share with you some real facts and numbers which you can cross check across the uh, google and you can you, you you can you can verify them now we all know that sap is there in the market from 1972 so it's been like a, a very long time that SAP is there in the market and uh, let's see what exactly is the present status of SAP's company as an organization. So SAP serves more than 4,40,000 customers and uh, it has got approximately 80% of its SAP's customers are from SMEs, the small and middle, middle enterprises the small and medium enterprises and then we have sap's customers include 92 percent of the 92 percent of our forbes global 2000 companies 98 percent of uh, 100 most valued brands 97 percent of the greenest companies and our uh, and uh, sap's customers distribute 78 percent of the world's food and 82 percent of the world's medical devices 77 percent of the world's transaction revenues touches on sap system now coming to their financial strength sap has continuously grown their revenue and they have a extremely extremely good uh, strategies in the, from uh, in the growth growth uh, the phenomenal growth that they have achieved every year so we have revenues like for the year 2019 uh, the cloud revenue was approximately 7.01 billion. It was an increase of 35%. Cloud and software revenue was 23.09 billion. So it's 9% hike. In total revenue is like 27.63, uh, an increase of 9%. The overall um, revenue in in the enterprise enterprise. So revenue. In the quarter four of 2019, the cloud subscription and support 1.91 billion, cloud and software 6.86 billion, and revenue total revenue of 8.05 billion. Now here, the revenue by region. These are the revenues by region, and um, these are all the revenues that we have got. So the primary thing that I would like to explain you, uh, the the primary reason for me sharing all this uh, data is that. If you observe, there is a huge growth in the revenue of SAP. So SAP is growing very strong as an organization. And um, having said this, why there is not a phenomenal growth in the requirement is what normally people ask me. I'll come to that question. Uh, I'll, I'll answer you the, answer that question like why we are not getting huge number of requirements. We do huge. We do have huge number of requirements, but in uh, in a kind of a, a kind of a different expectations i'll be explaining you that now so strong and sustainable growth and this is like in 2009 their cloud revenue was 0.1 billion and now in 2019 it's 7, 7 billion and if it's like total revenue in 2009 it was 10.7 10 billion was the total revenue and uh, right now it's 27.6 billion revenue 
six billion and uh, operating profits in 2009 were 2.9 billion and the net profits that we uh, incurred in uh, uh, operating profit in 2019 is 8.2 billion so it's a number one software company in dojo sustainability index for 13 years so if you observe this statistics you can you can very clearly get one point that sap is primarily focusing on cloud technologies so everything is in cloud now so sap is committed to supporting every customer to uh, become a best run business uh, and it, it also is like you know improves uh, people's lives market position as an enterprise application software it's the market leader in erp analytics supply chain management human capital management it has got top cloud vendors and innovation it has got a very good innovation uh, track record in this past uh, decade so and it has it's like we they have a proper strategy of uh, being the global leader i'll tell you how so the business transaction platforms they they are performing like sap hana has more than 30000 customers and they have very powerful data warehousing and analytics solutions sap cloud platform we have 15000 plus customers in cloud platform in sap end to end solutions it's growing very phenomenal so application technologies in 20 25 plus industries in seven li lines of business on premise cloud hybrid and all and uh, sap as per on a market performance is like in quarter of, in fourth fourth quarter of 2019 there were somewhere on 13800 customers now here we have this the sap digital supply chain solutions and all so intelligent groups quadrix and sap fax like you know it was started in 1972 and now it's it's a, it's a listing company in frankfurt new york and uh, SAP has got more than 1 lakh employees working worldwide in their own software development engagements. Now, software implementation and all are done by partners. So, partners also, they have a very strong uh, uh, strong relation with the partners. They have uh, more than 13,000 across the globe. Those were some numbers for our uh, uh, overview. And SAP focus on cloud. So since 2012, SAP has acquired several companies that sell cloud-based products with several multi-billion dollar acquisitions seen by analysts as an attempt to challenge competitors like Oracle. So in 2014, SAP bought Conquer Technologies, a provider of cloud-based travel and expense management software for over 8.3 billion, SAP's most expensive purchase to that date. So analysts' reaction to this purchase were mixed with Thomas Becker of uh, Commerce Bank questioning whether Conquer was a right choice for SAP, while Credit Suisse uh, called the acquisition an aggressive move. Now, in 2014, IBM and uh, SAP began a partnership to sell cloud-based services. Likewise, in 2015, SAP also partnered with HP to provide secured hybrid cloud-based services running the running the SAP platform. Uh, both HP and uh, IBM provide infrastructure services to SAP and SAP runs its SAP HANA cloud solution on, on SAP on top. SAP has announced additional partners with Microsoft in order to give customers tools for data visualization as well as improved mobile applications. So SAP exceeded its revenue projections due to the expansion in its cloud business and the success of SAP HANA. The growth can also be partially attributed to the acquisitions of concurrent field class. The company announced plans in 2016 to invest heavily into technology relating to Internet of Things as a part of a strategy to capitalize on growth in that market. So for that purpose, uh, 2 billion is planned for investment in relevant sectors by the end of 2020. So this investment uh, 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 covers all the research and development that has been um, done within the organization and for acquiring those companies who have been successfully uh, doing well in the business in, in the market uh, it's a proven if if something uh, is product and the artificial intelligence uh, area is 
proven to be uh, selling good in the market most probably sap will come and acquire it so sap will also launch a new product line called sap internet of things which will combine large amounts of data from things connected to the internet uh, with machine learning and sap's real time database espohana so on jan 29 2019 sap announced plans to cut approximately 4000 positions at that company in a strategic plan to shift to more modern cloud-based technologies such as blockchain, quantum computing, machine learning, Internet of Things and artificial intelligence. Having said that, there is a huge requirement for professionals and experts, uh, intellectual people to work upon these new areas. So our, our focus should be on not the past uh, technologies or expertise. You have to focus on the latest uh, requirements and latest technologies to be in power and um, on the top of this uh, corporate ladder in SAP. Now we have the fiscal year 2017, SAP reported earnings of almost uh, 4, 4 billion with an annual uh, revenue of uh, 23.5 billion which we already discussed just now and it has got a phenomenal growth in its revenue. So why I am telling this uh, again and again is because SAP as a as an organization as a as a company is very strong it is capable uh, of you know acquiring any number of companies in the future uh, which happened well and they they they, they are trying to become a monopoly in the cloud based enterprise solutions and uh, they want they wanted to give a tough competition for to microsoft and oracle in this uh, enterprise solutions so if you see uh, in the finance level like 2013 to 2017 you know uh, there is a huge growth in the in the, in the net income and uh, the net uh, profit so sap acquired more than 70 very huge i mean like considerable uh, big considerably big organizations they they keep acquiring small organizations which we they don't mention about uh, just to get some tools from them if some tool is working well uh, if there is a gui which is working well in some software they, they might acquire the entire software company and merge that look and feel into sap it has been done a very num large number of times so we have uh, you know, Qualtrics is the recent uh, company which was acquired in November 2018 for almost 8 billion. And then we have this context, uh, core systems and all these things. And this Qualtrics, they, when they acquired it was a uh, very talk of the uh, talk of the business uh, world. So then they have uh, one, one considerable company which I would like to talk about is the Hybris, which they had acquired in uh, May 2013. And then there was something called uh, the CY, which was a behavioral target marketing. This is also, uh, you know, uh, a big acquisition. And uh, Caridus Cloud is something which was based on for the sales performance management tool, which was based on cloud. So they acquired it in 2018. So if you see from 2013 to 2018, they have acquired huge number of organizations in the 2018. And they're going very strong in the cloud um, area. So these are all the old acquisitions taken by SAP. So SAP has hugely diversified its business solutions. And now uh, most of us still have that uh, thing in my in our mind that SAP uh, man SAP uh, you know serves I mean like uh, software they they sell software and that's an ERP software. But they have more than fifteen hundred plus products to offer for enterprise customers. So all latest products are based on cloud. So the the demand for the SAP uh, the SAP employees or the people who work on SAP platform has changed drastically from the previous decade to this decade. So we need to understand what exactly are the requirements of the future. Based on that, we have to uh, we have to uh, learn the courses or learn new things. So what uh, statistics, the figures, uh, facts and figures that I shared with you is just to tell you how strong SAP is in the global market and how strong it is growing in the future and what would, what is his, its future strategy. The future strategy is to be the global leader as it always had that vision from the beginning of the organization and uh, they, are, they are very much uh, in implementing that uh, particular thing in the in the in throughout the world and it's very much you know visible in their in the in their figures and uh, the revenue that 
they have acquired in the lead in the recent uh, past so what is the future of sap considered now let me answer the questions having discussed all these facts and figures let me uh, straight away answer the question what is the future of sap consultants very bright if you catch up with the latest trends that's very important that's the catch here so it's very bright if you catch up to the latest trends so you need to catch up to the latest trends upgrade yourself on a daily basis and um, you know one fine day if you wake up and you feel that you know something which is happening in the market and in the industry is completely different from what skill set that you have then you 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 might be um, you know left out so uh, that shouldn't happen so you should start uh, you know upgrading yourself on a daily basis if at all if you are in the field of sap you must learn uh, and understand and know what exactly is happening in your field of interest and should i learn an sap course or some other course like any non sap course like any any happening course which you have heard about like ai or python or data science or in something like that now for sap course i say definitely yes choose a course that suits your background and also has future demand there are two things here one thing is it should suit your background like uh, it should suit your educational background and your experience if at all if you have or if you're fresher just the just the educational background and if it if it is good enough for the uh, for, for that particular course if it complements your the course that you want to take up that's that that should be the primary focus upon and the second thing is does that course which you want to learn has a future future demand so in by 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 checking out these two strategies we need to go ahead and learn the sap course i strongly recommend even if you are working on sap platform do not take that job as uh, take it for granted and you keep learning uh, something or the other which will complement your present uh, profile so it's very important for us to do that and uh, you know uh, everyone who is successful in sap has always upgraded themselves on a on a daily basis not just like okay maybe i'll try to upgrade from myself in next year uh, that 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 should not be the strategy that's that's something which i would like to tell you all and then will i get a job if i learn a course in sap not as, as as easy as you think definitely it's not easy let me tell you it very clearly but definitely possible so it's not something rocket science or it's not like some uh, huge very difficult thing uh, but having said that you need to have some strategies you need to you, you need to it go step by step in that path so that you can get that get to that level so you need to do some personal research on it how how to get the job and uh, whom to whom to get the guidance from and um, things like that so uh, you know just completing the course if you have an assumption that you complete the course and you the job will be the offer letter will be coming to your of coming to your home that's definitely not going to happen so there are certain things that you need to do after completing the course to get the job all these things have to be done so what are the things that you have to do after completing the course and before getting the job is something which i always keep telling in my sessions you can you can find out those answers in my previous videos which i have uh, many times addressed for uh, you know various people so thanks for watching this session and if you have any questions you can you can ask it in the comments and i'll be answering it and if at all if you were looking for any kind of trainings you can contact us training at richjsft.com and if at all if you're looking out for any kind of jobs you can contact us at jobs at richjsft.com and uh, yeah before before writing to me I, I i would like to check if you have subscribed to our channel it will be really good if you have subscribed to channel if you uh, to our channel if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash jsaftek thank you have a great day and i'm going to come up with the uh, i'm one more session on this uh, jobs sap jobs i'll be i'll be addressing all the questions which i'll get as a query in the comments